It's Mark from True Seeker, and I'm in Soul 60, 361 again. I just want to give you a little update. Look at this thing here. To me, it looks like a piece of wood. On my monitor, it looks like a piece of wood. You see the shadow. See how it's just coming across here. And right at the top where it meets, they blurred it. Then you come over to this piece here, you can see how they blurred this to me. And it just as, you know, I see what I see here. An eye, a mouth opening, nose, you know, a bunch of, you know, and a lot more blurring. This to me here is a statue that's knocked over. This is the base, and here's the statue you can see into it. It's just a statue laid right over. This I wanted to show you, see? They missed this part here. See how they blurred all of this? But they left this. Let's see how I can get it for you here, guys. See what's in here? This is what they're covering up with all this nonsense. It's as clear as day, but the other part's blurred. Like this here. You see what they did to this? You see what's up here? You see the statue that's underneath all this blur? You see what's coming out? You see this? It looks like a gray alien's head under there. The eye, eye, nose, mouth, a big bulbous head. That's just underneath this more of it here. Now this is just right off of NASA's website. I have not done anything. This hasn't been in any editor. None whatsoever. This is straight off their website. I wanted to do a picture just like that for you guys. No sharpening, no blurring, nothing. I've done nothing. Okay. Here's another statue that's knocked over. Laid right over on its side. I've done few videos on this, uh, two or three, and, uh, and I was watching them on my 70-inch, uh, and I'm starting to figure this picture out, little by little, and as I do that, I'm going to keep updating you, because I believe this picture is very important, because we're not getting anything from NASA. Now, this rock here is fake. Do you see the statue that's in it? Do you see this? See what looks like a head, an arm, person sitting. That's just a carving. See, this is fake here. You see what's behind it? You see the statue head right back here? There's another one. Amazon UK, uh, I mean Amazon KC, uh, she left me a comment in one of my videos, I'm going to go back and see, she said there was a, a statue of a gray in the back area, and I missed, she's got a really good eye for this stuff, really, really good, like, I mean, you see what they're doing to this picture? I want you to go take a picture outside today and put it in your computer. Just zoom in, just, you know, just normal and see if it looks anything like this. See all these statues? They got us pretty well fooled. 
the size. See how this looks like a statue with its arm out holding something. See the shadows from all this stuff on the ground here. See this is coming up. See the shadows. More shadows. Put a black smudge here to cover something up. See, when they use that eraser tool, it still leaves. Still leaves a digital imprint. Can you see this? You would walk through here. Okay. To me, that's a person. Okay. Cool statue there. You got to check out the back of this picture. It's insane. See how this looks like piping in here? Piece of metal coming up. And then they just put these just lines in it. It's just, see this? This is supposed to be a rock. Look what's coming out of it. Another, looks like bar. See how this looks like a perfect base to something, and it's coming up into this item. See this, and they just blur it all out. This area was either this was a junkyard or this was destroyed. This might be a dump, just a you know regular just. Like an old, you know, just regular junkyard or just a dump where they throw unwanted stuff. See so, you how know, this looks like a box that's opened with something in it. There's another one I wanted to show you. Let me see if I find it. See this piece coming out? The shadow. But then they started manipulating it here with this fake sand and the shadow disappears. And this is all fake. All fake. This is not a rock. You can see. You can see what's in it. See what they did to this garment? There's the eye, the nose, okay? and the mouth. See what they did to it. The ear. Look at it. Everything's in its proper placement. This area back here. See how you could see this is supposed to be a rock, okay? Now you could see through it. Okay? That's a rock. And from here they want you to believe that these are rocks. Okay? I'm gonna show you why they're not. Because this is what they're covering up. You see these statues? These carvings are absolutely beautiful. See, like it's got pipe coming out of it. There's more back here. Here, here. I'll tell you, this is some glorious place, man. NASA, you can drop me off there and you never have to pick me up. Never. Sorry to all my loved ones and everybody, man, but I'm out. Man, you, NASA could drop me there any day. See this? See what it's covering. All of these big stones are all fake. You can see. You can see right through them.
any big shot out there that's studying Mars and doing all their big research and papers on these pictures, I laugh at you, buddy. I laugh. What I've known for a long time, long, long time, 60 to 70 percent of some of these pictures is all fake. The only real parts you're going to see is parts that guys, you know, guys and girls like us show you. See this? You see the head? See the side of it? So, any of you big shots out there that look down on people like us that do this, well, we're getting the last laugh. There's nothing but a bunch of a-holes looking down on us. Putting your nose up in the air. You think you're all big shots. Well, some little guy from New Jersey. That's all I am. I got an extra computer laying around the house and an older laptop. And that's what I use. It's an older, I think, HP. Nothing fancy running XP. XP Pro, corporate, nothing new, just nothing fancy. Basically, Adobe Photo, Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Office, Microsoft uh, Picture 10, GIMP, Infrared. <clears throat> you know, nothing, nothing fancy. I use a handheld because I, I bought a bunch of video capture software, but something happens in the compression and the codecs, and I lose all that 3D effect that I'm trying to show you guys. So that's why I use a handheld. And if I put it on a tripod and I just sit in one position, the lines on the screen start to show. So that's why if I just if I keep moving it, gee, it's you know it's just. It's what works. You know, I put it on a tripod and it just it just doesn't work. The lines of the screen start showing. See how you see through these rocks? But my real viewers know what's going on. I don't I don't have any fancy, you know, I don't do any fancy production. I'm just here it is, this is what it is. Go download the picture and look for yourself. And get the word out there. That's all, that's all I'm about. I'm, no big fancy productions here for me. And last, I wanted to show you this. See, I take this to be the bottom of a statue that was knocked over. And if you look up, you can see how this is all worked and polished. Looks like maybe the rim of a mouth or something, and then you can see how it all comes up here. See how perfect this base is? And it comes down in the front here, and then it's in the back. Now, I've found a couple of statues that were knocked over. You'd have to search through my videos, but like this one is a perfect base. Alright guys, I think that's about it. You got the idea. Hey, look at this cool thing. Look at this cool little area. Look at this. That is neat. It's got something going on there. Look, it almost looks like there's a cross, a little cross carved in there. With a painting of a person. Kneeling down, holding a stick some type of hole uh, painted, it looks like maybe the sun. You can see there's more of it, more of the painting. 